Clive Alderton accused Meg of using WME to urge King Charles to give Lilibet Transylvania's land as a birthday gift. King Charles III is planning on giving his youngest granddaughter, Lilibet Diana, a sweet present for her second birthday at the weekend. Lilibet currently lives in the U.S. with her parents, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, as well as her elder brother, four-year-old Archie. The king has five grandchildren between his two sons, Harry and William. The king reportedly wants to give Lilibet, who will turn two on June 4th, a present that she will use and will be hers. However, Sir Clive Alderton, who has served as private secretary to King Charles III and Queen Camilla since the 8th of September 2022, has raised his voice to refute this news. This fake news is not true. Another PR stunt coming from Montecito. Meghan Markle made up a story as usual. If they show photos of that little house, the gift may come from Godfather Tyler Perry. She used WME to make up fake rumors yet again. Without a doubt, Meghan Markle plans to create something and deliver it as a special present from the king. I certify that there is no such scheme in my capacity as the king's secretary. Additionally, it was Meghan Markle who phoned me and asked the monarch to give the little princess all of Transylvania as a birthday present. According to the New Idea, sources report that King Charles has had his aides looking at custom-made cubby house similar to what the Queen and Princess Margaret had when they were girls. The source added, She'll remember it forever. It's going to be the ultimate surprise. Unlike Archie, who was born in the UK, Lilibet was born in America. Last June, Lilibet celebrated her first birthday during the late Queen's Platinum Jubilee celebrations and was in the UK for the occasion. Harry and Meghan traveled to the UK with their two children, although they were not present at any of the Jubilee celebrations celebrations. During their UK stay, it was reported that the couple had hosted a party for their daughter, with images and clips from the occasion featured in their Netflix docuseries. Earlier in the month, Archie celebrated his fourth birthday on the same day as the King's coronation. Archie and Lilibet remained in the US with Meghan, while Prince Harry attended the coronation alone. At the end, Harry headed to the airport to return to the U.S. to make sure he made it home in time for his son's birthday. As well as clips from Lilibet's first birthday celebrations, the couple shared various snapshots of their two children, including a sweet picture of Lilibet as a newborn. The little girl was captured sleeping peacefully with their second child on Valentine's Day 2021. WME announced that the second birthday of Lilibet Diana on June 4th is undoubtedly a joyous occasion for the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, a cozy private gathering at their palatial Montecito residence in Santa Barbara, California, is being planned by the Duchess, renowned for her enthusiasm in organizing festive celebrations as demonstrated in their Netflix documentary, Harry and Meghan. Besides, as shown in past celebrations, birthdays hold a significant place in the Sussex family's hearts. Notably, Prince Harry made sure to swiftly return to California from King Charles III's coronation on May 6th, which coincided with their son Archie's fourth birthday. It's expected that Princess Lilibet Diana's second birthday will be marked with a distinct flavor than her first, celebrated in the UK amidst Queen Elizabeth's Platinum Jubilee festivities. The family had enjoyed a serene picnic at Frogmore Cottage during their visit with an intimate gathering and an endearing rendition of Happy Birthday for the Young Princess. In line with their tradition, the Sussex family is launching a Kaboom fundraiser through the Archwell Foundation to commemorate their children's birthdays and aid to Uvalde, Texas community's healing process. The announcement reads, Together we can make a difference to help build playgrounds that end play-space inequity. The campaign has raised $88,000, far surpassing the initial goal of just $20,000, but has been met with criticism that Meghan Markle intentionally used their children to make some money.